So welcome to this episode of the response manager video series. In this episode, we're going to focus on how to use webhooks to integrate with Cisco WebEx teams. Basically, as a reminder, the actual response manager is an ability inside the SecureX network analytics solution that allows you to create a rule which is composed of one or multiple conditions. Once they are matched, you can have one or multiple actions. These actions can vary uh, between uh, actually sending a syslog message, an SNMP trap, or even do an ICE response, or even integrating with SecureX to specify certain alarms you want to push into the investigation of SecureX. On top of that, that is the webhook, which is part of our focus today. The webhook is actually a feature that allows you to actually integrate with custom solutions, like for example, creating a ticket with ServiceNow or sending custom information to certain SIM solution. And part of today, we can look at how you can share this info with WebEx teams uh, with this webhook. And for that, I have Vadim with me. My colleague is gonna show you how to do that on his own system. So I'm going to show you one of the new cool features of Cisco Secure Network Analytics, the webhook action, and how we can use it to export secure network analytics alarm to Cisco WebEx Teams chat. Whenever a new alarm happened, I'm receiving an instant notification in WebEx Teams. In the notification message, I can see that there is a new active alarm of type suspect data hoarding happened, and it's critical. I also have a brief details about the alarm, and if I would like to, I can jump to my secure network analytics UI to see the full alarm list. So what should I do to make this work? Well, in version 7.3.0, this is easy with webhooks. Since 7.3.0, there is a new response management in the web UI, which you can access from the top menu, configure, response management. This is the place where all systems responses to alarms are configured. If I go to the actions tab and check what new actions I can create, I can see some new action types in the list. One of them is webhook. Webhook action allows to call web service, typically a REST API endpoint, and pass alarm details in the request payload when the new alarm is raised. Because I already created the WebEx Teams integration, I will just edit my existing action. Inside the webhook action, I must specify the webhook URL that the system should call when the new alarm is raised. In my example, I used one of my system to receive the request from Secure Network Analytics with alarm information, transform the request payload into the format that WebEx Teams API expects, and send it over to WebEx Teams endpoint. I can also use my internet proxy to send requests to the webhook endpoint. This may be useful if your SMC cannot make outgoing requests to the internet. Additionally, I can set up basic authentication so that my receiving webhook endpoint can check authenticity of the request. Keep in mind that the webhook URL must be a secure HTTPS URL to make sure your data is secure, encrypted, and can be properly authenticated. Also, Secure Network Analytics uses your SMC's identity certificate, so client-side certificate authentication can be used. The receiving endpoint must be trusted by the SMC. So you need to add its certificate to the SMC's trust store in central management. That certificate must also support a vocation. Now, to finish setting up exporting my alarms to WebEx Teams, I just need to specify what alarms should be exported there. This is handled by rules. So in my rules list, I have a suspect date of movement rule, which I created for this integration. This rule will trigger where there is a suspicious data movement in east-west or south-north direction. Specifically, this rule is triggered when the alarm is critical and one of these three types. To export alarms to the WebEx teams that are catched by this rule, I need to assign the WebEx teams action to this rule. For that, I just scroll a little bit more and see the associated actions section. In here, I just assign the WebEx Teams action and I'm done.
the alarm should be now exporting to my WebEx teams. You can also use a response management webhook action to export alarms instead of using syslog to overcome some of the limitations of UDP syslog protocol. Integrate alarms with other instant messengers. Initiate a network scan for alarming host. Create a ticket when certain alarm is raised or send SMS about critical alarms and much more. Thank you, Vadim, for showing us how to use the webhook to integrate with WebEx team. Tune in for other video, guys. Hope this has been informative for you.